Okay, Mark, um, here is a typical uh, lever action switch. Um, so what we're looking at is your, your main wires coming in. Now, now for a for a two-way, let's see if I ever can find a, or a, a two-pole. Two-pole just means it's the same thing next to each other. Okay, so uh, let's see. That's a single, where's my website here? Okay, so on a two-pole, uh, these, this one here can connect to either this one or that one, and this one here connects to either this one or that one, and they connect at the same time. Now, they are separated from left to right, and that's the two poles. Okay, double throw means it can go into this position or that position. Uh, so, if we go back to this, just picture two of these side by side, completely separate of each other your PWM signal is going to come up through the common and it can either connect to this one here this terminal or this terminal one of these should go to your uh, IOT relay and one of them should go to the PWM input on the uh, driver for the uh, JTEC as you can see here, uh, this is just one example. This is like a rocker switch that actually has a actual rocker in it. When you push the lever this way, or if it was in, in the case of the one that looks like the one you have, if you push down on this side, it moves the, the pivot. It puts pressure on this side. So the opposite of what you're pressing. Okay, If you were to move this one that way, it connects the other direction. Uh, there's a bunch of different diagrams out there of different ones, how they work. Um, sometimes they have blades in them also. Uh, let's see if I can find an example of that one. Uh, probably not in enough time that we have. Uh, but anyways, so for your uh, example on, on what you have here, when you push down on this side here, these two in the back are connected, not the ones in the front. Okay, so you push down on what here it says I or one, and it's these back two. You push down on two, and it's these other two on the opposite side. So that might be part of your uh, issue you're running into. Um, just keep all the positives on one side, the grounds on the other, and make sure you have them all going to the correct positives and ground on the devices and the PWM and should be fine. Also, uh, when you're doing your soldering, uh, put the, you know, just have a little tiny bit of stick out uh, uh, beyond the jacket. So you only strip a little bit. You, you can push that jacket all the way up against uh, the opening here, not through it. Uh, just uh, against it and then do your solder on the other side and all you got to do to solder uh, the best way to solder is actually heat up your soldering iron put a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron okay you don't you don't actually sit there and heat up the, the two devices before soldering you put you heat up the, the solder gun or the soldering iron put a little bit of solder on the tip you pick that up and then you just push it against, hold it against the flat of this, uh, of the pin and the end of the wire at the same time. And when you see it suck onto it, then you pull away and it's done. It's a very simple way. Hopefully this helps.